everyone, and welcome to OVW Overdrive, the show that always kicks out at two. I'm your host, Brian Kinison. With me, as always, Casanova of the Reverse Petting Zoo, Mr. Dan and Stevie J. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a hell of a show lined up for you. Huge action from top to bottom with a little bit of a theme to it, it seems like, here today. Yeah, folks, we're going to see a bit of a dysfunctional episode of OVW Overdrive today. Each match featuring a member of the feared group dysfunction. We're kicking off with one of the most feared members, if not the most feared member. I'm talking about Brandon Espinoza taking on Carson Drake. Let's get into it. I, you know, I'm going to ask what a reverse petting zoo is. You know what it is. This is not a test. Introducing first representing dysfunction. Brandon Espinosa! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to OVW Overdrive. I am the East End villain, Josh Ashcraft, alongside the one, the only, the lovely Linda Kay. Kind intro, Josh. I'm excited to be back here for Overdrive and excited for what we're about to see here today. I'm excited to have you here. I'm excited to have all you fans at home. Watching along with us is Brandon Espinoza. Asks us all to join him. And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California. He is the most successful man in professional wrestling. Carson Trey. Someone I do not want to join along, and that would be said person there, Carson Drake. Yeah, Carson Drake, the ultimate epitome of douchebaggery. Mm. Here I in second OBW. that. You I like second that? that. Yes, I second that as well. The, the alliteration is what I was going for. Did I say Drake. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here's the thing Carson Drake, he may be an absolute garbage human being overall, but you can't take anything away from the man's ability in the ring. You know, one of the fastest rising, fastest rising stars in professional wrestling today. Facing off against uh, a gentleman who, uh, you know, he's been up and down the road, spin around the horn. Brandon Espinoza, the, the leader of dysfunction. Oh, and look at that. Oh. Drake saying oh. he's the most successful man in OW. Oh. That's a way to shut him up. Way to go, Brandon. Way to like go. He was trying to pay off Brandon Espinoza. Oh, and Espinoza now just cramming that money into the face and mouth of Drake. <laughs> and levels him with a shot. Oh. Series of back elbow strikes in the corner there by Espinoza, just lacing Drake right behind the ear. Yes. And a huge right, right to the forehead. Takes Drake down to a knee, Linda. Oh. Nice seeing Brandon here in a singles match and really laying it in on Carson Drake. <laughs> oh, man, I mean, I'm just going off like what we recently have seen with Carson Drake. I oh. mean, oh, despicable uh, this man can be. You're not wrong, Linda, and that's the thing about Brandon Espinoza. Brandon Espinoza always has a plan when he's in that ring, and, you know, we're going to see all three, that's right, three members of Dysfunction here tonight in action, but hang on, thumb to the oh. eye from Drake, and now Drake oh. goes knees to the midsection, just crumpling Espinoza. Carson, letting everybody know who he is. You know, if you actually have to tell the audience you are the most successful man in pro wrestling and letting them know who you are, is that a little bit of That's egotism, yeah. Or, like, or is it covering up? something that you know he has to over uh what's the word overcompensate yes for. yeah 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 overcompensation is absolutely an issue that i think carson drake has but that's beside the point the point right now is he's got espinoza oh. it had him literally and figuratively on the ropes carson also setting his sights on cal hero we know on double crossed may 2nd the pay-per-view celebrating not just 150 years of the Kentucky Derby Festival, but 30 years of OVW. Carson will get a chance at that OVW Country Boy Brewing media title. That he will, but Espinoza now trying to uh, 
fight back the tide of offense from Drake, but Drake, you know, maybe Brandon gave him a moment too, uh, too long there. Oh! As he's sent hard into the corner, but up and over goes Espinosa. Oh. And a shot to the jaw, and the leader of dysfunction now has to take advantage. Oh, but look at that. Oh. Drake kicking the rope. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Wait a Did second. He just do the fanny pack knee. That, that was. He just, the count and everything. And look at that. Drake talking trash. Oh. Takes I mean. down Espinoza with a face plant. That's it. Here is your winner, Carson Drake. Carson Drake picking up the win with that stroke, Linda. Yes, you know, I mentioned if the match against Cal is on his mind, I, you know, that definitely proves it right there. Showing the moon known made by Cal Hero. Wow. Carson Drake playing mind games ahead of Double Cross. Not gonna lie, during the break I did have the animals pet me. I love reverse petting zoos. Anyways, huge win for Carson Drake, and you gotta know that this coming Thursday, he's gonna have something to say to one Mr. Cal Hero. Well, we know Cal Hero had something to say to OVW management. After Cal Hero, your country boy brewing, OVW, that's hard to say, OVW media champion, it lost to Orion thanks to the interference from Carson Drake. Cal Hero said, hey, no, no, let's run that one back. Cal, Cal Hero going to go one-on-one -on -one with Orion this Thursday at OVW Rise as we head towards Double Crossed, where Cal Hero will defend that OVW Media Championship against Carson Drake. And Cal Hero being a little bit of a, a cry, baby, a little bit of a sour. Oh, I didn't get my way. I know he's used to getting his way, but not with one Mr. Carson Drake. Coming from a man who cries at Steel Magnolias. You're going to call mean, Cal Hero. The movie's beautiful. Shelby, drink your juice. Sally Fields was amazing. Folks, stick around. More OVW Overdrive after the break. Don't go anywhere. But hey, go to Double Cross May 2nd. It's free with the Pegasus pin. Wrestling. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Out on the frontier, where loyalty is hard to come by, a double cross can leave you staring down the barrel of a six-shooter. In a land where every handshake hides a secret agenda, trust is a luxury few can afford. And I know you're the dirty dog that double-crossed me. OVW presents Double Crossed. Live on pay-per-view Thursday, May 2nd. Order now at ovwrestling.com. Folks, welcome back to OVW Overdrive. We're about to talk about OVW rise and the week that was and folks what a week it was you heard a little bit before the break we talked about cal hero facing orion it was a very incredible matchup two men at the absolute top of their game right now battling it out orion opportunity against the country boy brewing ovw media champion and while cal hero almost had that sewed up almost picked up the victory carson drake cal hero's opponent for double cross in may 2nd at the louisville waterfront Interfered in the matchup, costing Cal Hero, allowing Orion to pick up the win over the champ. Orion insisting that Cal Hero, OVW, and the OVW faithful look at him, and we had no choice but to do so this past week on OVW Rise. That's a really good transition. I wasn't expecting that. My, but the bar is low. Oh, yeah. We, were, we really Smooth more than cleared it. Now let's see how butter. you do with this next transition. This is really going to be telling. Let's see, there's a transition. Well, I'll just go with this. My new favorite tag team on this very planet. The Golden Pussycats made their OVW debut, Brian. Wasn't a transition, but it was still real good. Nah, but it was a lot of bull. Never mind. Uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. That's my fault for complimenting you. They're absolutely right. We saw Beaches and Cream, Omar and Luscious Lawrence coming out just a week removed from the funeral for the Golden Lions, and then imitating them. You saw the, the stereotypes, you saw the, or the stupid voices. I mean, 
they were really ridiculous. They were honoring the memory of the once great tag team, Brian. Identity theft's not a joke. Thousands of families suffer every year. Anyway, the Gold Lions continuing to poke and prod at the Golden Lions, even though Golden Lions no longer here, both out on the shelf right now, Beaches and Green. They might be digging a hole for themselves whenever the Golden Lions return. But folks, speaking of digging a hole. We saw the Bad Girls Club in double action again this week, Steve. Once against Hollywood Haley J, once against Sophia Rose. And Steve, might have been two different opponents, but similar stories. Bad Girls Club interfering in both. The Bad Girls Club known for interjecting themselves, doing exactly what they want to do and when they want to do it. And it came up to a little bit of mixed results this past week. Both matches resulted in the Bad Girls Club being ejected from ringside. Now. First matchup, Hollywood Haley J able to turn that into a victory. But Dream Girl Ellie was able to pick up the win over Sophia Rose because of that lingering bad girl at ringside, Tiffany Nieves, still able to make her presence I thought felt. you were talking, I, I thought you were the honorary lingering bad girl at ringside. Are you not? Well, yeah, no, but I, I can't get involved in the match. Tiffany has made it incredibly clear. Mm -hmm. And Layla uh, as well. Do not be involved in the matches. Anything of a physical variety. What do you do? Uh, well, there's a subscription service that I, you know, I pay for sure. to be a, because every every week you get a uh, or every month you get a box of like uh, it's skin creams, mm -hmm. uh, some hair stuff. You need uh, it. Well, it, glowing, right? You look great. You want to feel it? Soft. Bad girl soft. Wow. But speaking of bad girl soft. Super Z, that was, that, see, that was a bad transition, ladies and gentlemen, but regardless, Super Z going up against Maximo Suave, and I gotta say, ever since this Super Z guy has shown up here at OVW, it has been a chaos disorder. I don't like what he is bringing to professional wrestling. Are you kidding me? Super Zero is, is the hero we need right now. He's the hero we want right now, and here's the thing. Who's Super Zero? I said, you, you, you heard me wrong. I, that must be it. Super Z is the hero we need right now. He's the hero we deserve. He's the hero that Davis Arena wants. And here's the thing. I don't understand the correlation between Zachary D. Pittman and a, a Super Z. It seems like whenever Zachary D. Pittman has an issue with somebody, Super Z is there to handle it. And I can only, I can only speculate. Uh, they know each other. Really? I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of who it is, but regardless of who it is, I don't like, once again, what he's doing for OVW or for professional wrestling as a whole. Why do you hate everything that's fun for me? Why, why do you have to, everything that I like and enjoy, why is it, why is it crap and your, stupid to you? Why is it nerdy to you? Your pain brings me comfort. Your sweat. It's like chicken soup for the soul. Your sweat makes you look old. Yeah, no, it's All right. Anyway, hot folks, here. Super Z, a mystery maybe. Maybe, just maybe, we can get Zachary D. Pittman here on OVW Overdrive, and we get some information about who the Super Z is. I'm going to go through Zachary D. Pittman. Oh, we're going to get down to the friends. bottom I'm going to figure it out. But speaking of getting to the bottom of this, we saw the Arkansas Roughneck, Tony Gunn, in action this past Thursday on OVW Rise. And see if he's on his way to May 2nd to double-crossed to face the real one in an Arkansas strap match. So who's gonna have the strap on? Uh, well, Tony will have the strap on and then real one will also have the strap so on. So they've each got the strap on. Both will have the strap on. And then they use the strap on each other. Yeah. All right, I'm So uh, a real one can use the strap on Tony, but Tony could also use the strap, strap on, on real one. Got it. Yeah, so it's like a, you know, tend to stay sort of situation. Strap on match. But you know what, both of these men clearly ready Clearly ready for Double Cross, sponsored by Hot Point Appliances. And we heard from Real One exactly how ready he was to get his hands on Tony Gunn. There's no snowball, as a matter of fact, no Al snowball's chance in hell that you win this one. Because there'll be nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere to hide. You're going to be strapped to a certified first ballot Hall of Famer in an Arkansas strap match. And I am Pete Rosemary's baby, okay? All right, Muscles, Marinera, Rivera, I got the sauce, and Ricky Vaughn, all right? I'm a rambling man and a gambling man, and I know that every odd maker, bet taker, and money maker is going to put their money on me, just like I am, because I always bet on myself. I bring the heat, and I knock it out the park, okay? And if any OVW official has a problem with that, they can take it up with my interpreter. I am no say so, Donnie, and if we ain't talking money, what are we talking about? Nothing. 
Real one, not mincing any words, but looking to mince the skin of Tony Gunn come May 2nd at Double Cross, sponsored by Hot Point Appliances. Enzo not one to be known to pull back at all, letting it go with both barrels up against one shotgun. Tony Gunn, you see what I did there with the barrels and the shotgun. Man, I'm good today. Wow. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah, you, there it is. Just testing the mic with the claps there. All right, but folks, the big main event, number one contendership for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Luke Curtis ringside as Tony Evans battled Jack Vaughn one-on-one -on -one to determine the number one contender. The man who is determined to get in the main event picture versus the man who spent more of his OVW career in the main event picture than out of it. Tony Evans versus Jack Vaughn, and what a back-and-forth battle it was, Steve. And folks, if you want to see the epic conclusion to that confrontation, you're going to have to tune into OVW Rise this week. That battle went over a lot of TV time, and I think we're about to be doing the same thing. So folks, stick around after the break. More OVW Overdrive, more action from members of Dysfunction. Embrace it. OVW Dysfunction. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? The hell was that? You fart? I mean, yeah, but that wasn't it. 90% of natural sleep aids don't work. Most remedies make bold claims, but never measure their real impact. Meet Sophie, the natural plant-based spray that does. Sophie isn't one size fits all. It experiments with different plant extracts to find what works for you. Paired with an app and machine learning, Sophie learns to optimize your sleep because not all plants work the same for everyone. Sophie is as unique as you. To all of the loyal fans of OVW, I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude. Without you, there is no OVW. Without your passion, your energy, your unwavering support, there is no us. There's no talent, no production. Without you, there's no OVW. Thank you for being the driving force behind everything we do. The unsung heroes of our saga. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you OVW fans. We can't do it without you. Introducing first from Champions Trailer Park in Louisville, Kentucky, Big B! Oh, White Trash, wonderful himself, Big B! Making his way out here for action. Man has been traveling all around the U.S. over the course of the last couple of months, Linda, and back here in OVW, Absolutely. where he calls home. Yes, I was going to say, the crowd loves him. Boy. They Big love him some of the beefer. Who doesn't? Wait, who, yeah, exactly. Who doesn't love beef? Well, vegans, well, I, I guess? I don't. Yes. And his opponent, representing Dysfunction, Jack Parker Jr. Good Lord, look at the size of the newest member of Dysfunction, Jack Parker Jr. And I say newest member, you know, he's part of the WLW Tag Team Champions along with Brandon Espinosa and Kyle Roberts, but Good God, the size of this man. You know, Beef, he's, he's got a big test ahead of him tonight. It's not often. Somebody matches size. Well, big Beef. Yes, a lot of meat in the ring right there. This is the first time I'm seeing Jack Parker Jr. in person. And good Lord, like you said, that's, yeah. that's some size. Here we go. Jack Parker Jr. debuting here in OVW again. Uh, Hand-picked by Brandon Espinoza and Kyle Roberts for dysfunction. He's the, the heavy, if you want to call him that, and look at that. Neither wow. man able to get uh, an advantage of that collar and elbow tie-up. Oh. It's an animosity there we're seeing. Shoving back and forth from, uh, from Beef and Jack Parker Jr. Jack Parker Jr. not being intimidated by a fan favorite here at Davis Arena. Side headlock put on by Beef, but look at this, Parker with a handful of hair trying to get that separation. 
I mean, just send Beef into the ropes. Beef with a shoulder tackle. Parker didn't move. Oh, oh. wow. Talking a little, uh, little smack without needing to say it. Jack Parker Jr. saying it might work in somebody this big, but it ain't going to work in Big Jack. Oh. He's getting the crowd behind him. Trying to prove Jack Parker Jr. wrong. Oh, oh hang on. Jack tried to throw a close line, oh. but Beef had it scouted, caught him with a drop kick, but Parker still on his feet, albeit assisted by the ropes. Woo. Such speed, such agility by a, a, a man the size of Big Beef. Without a doubt, and Big Beef now sends Parker in, keeps a hold of that arm, throws a knee to the midsection, Ooh. drills him yet again. The OVW faithful love him some beef. I do too, but look at this, Jack Parker Jr. Ooh, those 12 to oh. 6 elbows right to the top of the skull and in between the shoulder blades. Oh my goodness, I think I got splashed <laughs> with some of that over here. God! What a forearm shot from Jack Parker Jr. Swing and a miss oh. in the corner, now Beef. Hits it with that clothesline. Beef has got to keep the pressure on Jack Parker Jr. here if he does not. You cannot let somebody like Jack get his, his engine going. That momentum gets on his side. But Beef now, raining down, blows to the jaw. Oh. Will that take the big guy down? Oh. No. Oh, but. Northern Larry right to the back of the head, oh. Linda. That took Big Beef down, though. Oh, man. Big Beef goes down to the canvas. And again, that's, like, that's what I was saying. You know, Beef managed to get all those punches right into the top of the head of Parker. But Parker. Just too strong, too powerful. A little retaliation right there from Jack Parker Jr. Again, even though this is the first time we're seeing Jack Parker Jr. here at Davis Arena, he's not showing any signs of timidness, not showing any signs of backing away. I mean, I've seen a lot of confidence right here from the member of Dysfunction for the very first time, and it's quite impressive. Well, that it is. You see Jack Parker Jr. just trying to smother Big Beef in that corner. Referee SK calls for the break. Here the OBW faithful. With Jack Parker just blatantly choking Big Beef in the corner there. Oh, man. The Big Beef chance. You know, I was thinking it was going to help motivate Beef, get him on his feet, but. And like I think that's that just enraged mm. Jack Parker. Yeah. You see Parker now cranking on the head and neck of Big Beef there. Trying to do serious damage. Those tendons in the neck, but Beef trying to work his way back up. He's got a hold of Parker. Oh! Chin breaker. Might have knocked a tooth out. Beef in the corner. Oh. Parker charges. Nobody home. Oh. Strong elbow strikes, man. Those elbows, might as well just call them the meat hooks oh. out of Big Beef. <laughs> beef charges in, huge lariat in the corner. Follows it with that bulldog. Oh! High angle Saito suplex takes him down, cover. That's it. Here is your winner. Beef. Big Beef picking up the win here against a very game Jack Parker Jr. Man was very impressive, but there's your winner, Big Beef. Who are you going to call? Big Beef, that is right. Big Beef with a big win over a big man, JPJ, the newest and intimidating is most intimidating? Intimidating. Intimidating is. Whatever. Member of dysfunction, JPJ. And I see we've been talking about a lot of dysfunction today. Sometimes you just need to be a little dysfunctional. Oh, kind of like today. Oh, did you fart? <laughs> I did now. Okay, anyway. All right, uh, folks, we got more, more action coming on the way, but it threw me off. Sorry, after the break, we got to sit down. You got to sit down with Luscious Lawrence, Omar Mir. I'm talking about beaches and cream. 
See if we can make some big waves. Big waves. Big. Welcome to OVW. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Spine to pine. That's gotta be it. Oh my god! Whoa! Welcome to OVW. For the first time ever, live on pay-per-view at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, Saturday, August 31st. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Overdrive. It is my honor and privilege to have with me at this time former two-time OVW Tag Team Champions. It's Big Daddy Splash at his Sweet Daddy Cream, Beaches and Cream, Omar Amir, Luscious Lawrence, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to talk to me and the OVW audience. Big Daddy, splash, splash, splash. I'm all about it, brother. Splash, you all about, about, about the splash, splash? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, you you know, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just run right past that one because yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where you're, you're, you've got a hole and you're waiting for me hey, to dance jump in. Hey, uh, oh, Dancing Jay, we, man, we I really like that shirt, too. That's a, that shirt is incredible, man. The shirt's great. Can I borrow that next weekend when I go out to... It's you. It, you can, but don't button it. Because if you button it, you're gonna pop out of it, brother. You're no, big. No, no, so you got no, palm no, trees. You, yeah. No, you, you, you love a little beaches, taco I, meat on there. I I understood the assignment and dressed accordingly. Oh, I'll say that. Appreciate that. Right. You look good. You want to flatter us? You look good. You came in to flatter. I do us. everything I can. Mm. Speaking of flattering, former two-time OVW tag team champions, the two men that seem to have taken out completely the Golden Lions, Cash Flow, Mahabali Shira, nowhere to be seen, and you guys are personally responsible for that. How do y'all feel about it? Mm, 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 mm. Feel uh, feels like a Sunday morning. It feels great. Yeah. Well, not in here. It's hot as hell. No, you, <laughs> you know what I mean. You, yeah. you, you could have. Well, I wanted to feel like turn the AC I on for all beaches like and cream, man. I Steven, like, I wanted you to feel like you were back home in the Caribbean. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm here for y'all. All right. Really, I am. It's like the inside of the it volcano is, on the island. It is such a joyous day that we <laughs> laid the golden pussy cats to rest. Laid them to rest. We never had to see them wrestle again. They're done. Time for Beaches and Cream to step up to the plate and take over the tag division. We have hit the next evolution in tag team wrestling in OVW, and I feel like you two are at the forefront of that. Oh, yeah. With that said, the precipice. Right? The precipice. You're Dominating. at the cusp. The cusp. The doms. Edging. That could, that's a new name. Right we're we're edge. edging. You're edging. We're edging for we're about to, oh, we're, we're, we're almost about to, there. Yeah. Jumping so out of close. our bodies. Mm -hmm. so Jumping close. out of our bodies. So close to being three-time OVW Tag Team Champions. Oh. Menage A. <laughs> <laughs> Tres time champions. There's th see, there's three of us here, and it's the, the math ain't mathin'. You see, oh, it's, oh, it's adding up. <laughs> it's going to stack up and add up real quick. <laughs> this, this, this interview is about to be wrapped up. We're about to give it that. Steven, so you, haven't, do? you haven't asked us anything, man. Not really. I <laughs> asked you about your feelings taking out the Golden Lions. Oh, did you, did you see us? Did, well, How do you sorry, feel from sorry, the bottom of us. your heart? Not us, not us. Someone crushed old Cashflow's hand in that door. Crushed I don't it. know who it was. Crushed it could have been it. the Golden Pussycats. Crushed I it. saw them come in last week here on OVW. Those guys TV. are incredible. The Golden, the golden Pussycats Cash are Cashflow can't even go home and, and chop himself, if you know what I mean. He can't even chop himself. We, it was his right hand, too. Got that. I want to say the Golden you can't do it. Pussycats. He's not ambidextrous. He's not Hideo Nomo. They look just like Hall of Notes. <laughs> Very... <laughs> Very handsome gentlemen. They do. Yeah. They do. Did you see Very them? Did you see Private them on this Thursday? I sure did. Did you see them? Did you see them getting beat up by those trainees? The the trainees, man, they the, Could you imagine how them. embarrassing? They're that would never happen to us. Never, ever. Did you ever. see that guy? That guy no. gave him what? Gave Cashflow an arm drag? You know, Cashflow's luscious hair was just it was just bellowing. It was, it was just it was, hair was, was luscious. flying through the air. You know what I'm saying? Did you, you see, see that flow? Yeah. It was yeah, flowing. It was flowing. Yes, yeah. But did you see him get beat up? I sure did. By trainees. Yeah. It's it's a shame. Sad. It's a shame. Filthy. To the legacy 
of the Golden Lions or the Golden Pussycats, nah, whatever we want to call them. Nah. That's where they've always been. You know, you know, you know, Al Snow, he's been booking them against like weaker opponents for years. Tomato sure, cans. Yeah, that's the only reason why people think they're so Tomato dominant. cans. Tomato cans. You guys are going up there against top tier talent. Top every tier. Week. I understand. We like challenging ourselves. They look good. They look good when they're in there against the tomato cans. But <laughs> enough about that. Let's talk about the future for you two. What do you mm. see happening beyond the Golden Lions? That's last week's news. We've moved past it. What does the future hold for you two? Mm. Right, they're gone. They're gone. Gone for good. We're looking forward forever. We'll never see them again. Um, obviously, they're coming three-time tag team champions. Menage. How chance. do y'all see yourselves doing that? We, and, and we haven't forgotten about Tuscan Chains. Old Tusky. Donovan. Old Tusky and Old Chain. We got even forgot about you. You're still right here. Now, we're right going to keep forefront. um we're going to keep beating the hell out of anyone who gets in our way until Al Snow comes to us. He finds us and he's like, "Oh, Omar. We're looking for you, Al." Luscious. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a shot at the tag team titles again. It's like I was in the room. Which, that was a hell of a Which, which you know what? Mm-hmm. We never actually really lost. Mm. Definitely huge questions yeah. surrounding that loss. I personally feel that you we were never should, pinned for those titles. You should still be the champions. We to should. This day. We should. Wronged. We were you wrong. You were absolutely wronged. And I'm going to write a letter. I'm going to write a letter to the OVW office. Why? Just text. If, if they're able to read, they'll read it Just and they'll know it. how upset Or call them. You think, he doesn't answer. No, write a office. letter. Yeah, write a letter. You're in the office. Why are you acting like answer. you're not part of them? You're one of them. Yeah, you. You, just go talk no, I to think him. He, I think he wants to be part of Beaches and Cream. I, think I mean, if is, I had my choice. He wants to be the third leg. Would you? I would, I would pay you money to do so. Oh. oh we pimp like him out. We can pimp him out. I could have done it for free, and now I'm going to have to pay him. Hey, we could pimp him out. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. No. No diddy. You know what? <laughs> no diddy. Enough of this. Ladies and gentlemen, Beaches and Cream, right after this, we've got our main event. Thank you so much. Mm. This, is, this is about to get fun. Thank you, Stevie J. Yeah, oh. Steven. Mm. Come closer. Come on over here. Sit on my lap. Come on. Don't be shy. It's hard to come by. A double cross can leave you staring down the barrel of a six-shooter. In a land where every handshake hides a secret agenda, trust is a luxury few can afford. And I know you're the dirty dog that double-crossed me. OVW presents Double Crossed. Live on pay-per-view Thursday, May 2nd. Order now at ovwrestling.com. The following contest is your main event of Overdrive. It is a non-title bout. Sit for one fall. This is not a test. Introducing first, representing Dysfunction and accompanied by Brandon Espinosa, Kyle Roberts. And it is Dysfunction basically taking over Overdrive here tonight. You know, Brandon Espinosa fell a little bit short against Carson Drake. Same with Jack Parker Jr., but you've got to think that Kyle Roberts here tonight wants to walk out with a victory, and especially over the man he's challenging. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, he is the OVW Heavyweight Champion, certified Lou Curtis. This is your main event of Overdrive OVW Heavyweight Champion, certified Luke Curtis. Coming out here to face off against Kyle Roberts of Dysfunction and with Brandon Espinosa at ringside, and Lindy, you almost have to have eyes in the back of your head. Absolutely. The numbers game could be advantage of that going to Dysfunction. I mean, obviously we have Luke Curtis, 
the OVW Heavyweight Champion. It's going to be a quite a challenge for Kyle Roberts as well. That it will. You know, Kyle Roberts' biggest match to date here in OVW. Facing off against the champ, you got to think that if he's able to, to knock Luke Curtis off here tonight, that what would that say for the, the challengers for the OVW Heavyweight Championship? Like, where would that put Kyle Roberts in those conversations? Right, and just like we saw before with Brandon Espinosa giving us a great showing in a singles contest. I mean, oh, wait, speaking of Brandon, let's... Uh, and, of well. course, Espy immediately trying to get involved. He said that numbers game. The certified, not even able to take his robe off yet. He just arm drags Roberts over. And that's the kind of champion that, uh, that certified Luke Curtis is. He's always ready at any given time. He will take you down. Absolutely. To your point earlier, though, I mean, if Kyle Roberts can pull off a win tonight as against the OVW heavyweight champion, that's a way to get your way up the rankings in the singles run as well. The certified Luke Curtis showing off some of his uh, collegiate wrestling skill there. You know, a lot of people don't realize this. Certified Luke Curtis, a very, very decorated amateur wrestler prior to getting into OVW. And an MMA background. Yeah. You know, certified can hook oh. you from anywhere just like that. And that's why he is our OVW heavyweight champion. Brandon Espinosa not too uh, thrilled on the outside there. Certified Luke Curtis manages to find a way to shut down Kyle Roberts' offense almost at every turn. Roberts drives him back into the ropes. Irish whip off, Curtis over. But not going to fall for those old tricks as he nails him with a drop kick. All right. Roberts rolling out, meeting up with Brandon. I mean, look at that intensity from Brandon Espinosa. Giving him that motivation he needs to get back in and really give Luke Curtis what he's got as well. And it looks like Luke's bringing him right back in. So it works. It worked with me consulting with Brandon, I guess. I mean, you know, consulting with Brandon Espinosa gave certified Luke Curtis just a little bit too much time there to get a plan in place to bring Roberts back in. And once again, you know, certified Luke Curtis, your OVW heavyweight champion, Linda, he is ready for anything at any time. Ooh. But he didn't have that scouted as Roberts just yanked him down by the hair. Luke, that boot to the jaw, though. And once again, he's, he's, he's like a rabid pit bull. You know, he gets his, his teeth into you. He's going to tear you apart, and that's what certified Luke Curtis is trying to do right now. I mean, just... Oh, and look oh. at this, though. Roberts oh. trying to take the fight to certified Luke Curtis. He does not want Luke Curtis to manage to get any of that momentum rolling. Cover. Only a one counts as referee Shane Chess. And now one, certified Luke Curtis taking Kyle Roberts down to the mat. He's got that chin lock in place. As you see Brandon Espinosa at ringside trying to uh, coach along his tag team partner, Kyle Roberts. I mean, Luke Curtis is the heavyweight champion here at OVW. I mean, any little bit of coaching, I'm sure can definitely help out Kyle Roberts tonight. Oh yeah, without a doubt. As Luke Curtis just charges in, close on Kyle Roberts. Oh. And lights him up with a chop. Certified oh. with a second. <laughs> Did you hear me? that? That would I, hurt me. I was gonna say, I felt that one as well. One more again, <laughs> says the OVW heavyweight champion. Certified Luke Curtis. Quick reversal of the Irish whip though. Roberts charges in. Oh. Clothesline to the jaw of Luke, and Luke goes down hard. Man. Might have knocked him for a loop there, but no. Luke Curtis manages to dump Kyle Roberts. Triangle oh. drop kick. Wipes out Kyle Roberts. Some tremendous offense right there by our OVW heavyweight champion. Kyle Roberts on the floor, certified Luke Curtis standing tall in the ring. OVW is touring the country and it's your chance to see the superstars of wrestlers on Netflix live. Friday, April 26th, OVW comes to Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, and Marathon Music Works. Also on Friday, April 26th, as part of the Kentucky Derby Festival, it's our annual Run for the Ropes event down on the waterfront at the Chow Wagon. 
Thursday night, May 2nd, it's Double Crossed from the waterfront of downtown Louisville. Live on pay-per-view, get in free to the event with your Derby Festival Pegasus pin. And Friday, May 31st, OVW is headed north for the very first time to Des Plaines, Illinois, the Des Plaines Theater, bell time there at 8 p.m. And Saturday night, August 31st, Pikeville, Kentucky, get ready. The stars of OVW come your way for a live, first-ever pay-per-view event at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Don't miss a minute in Pikeville. It's the first-ever OVW National Tour presented by Danos. Get your tickets today and experience OVW Live. Kyle Roberts trying to catch his breath on the outside, but certified Luke Curtis not giving him that opportunity to get back into the ring and enact whatever plan it was. Him and Espinosa managed to concoct. There we go. Yeah, as, as Robert Roberts hot shots him on that rope. A desperation maneuver there, but stunned the OBW heavyweight champion momentarily. Kyle Roberts has to try to take advantage of this. As he now sends certified out to the apron. Wait a minute. Oh, but hang on. Oh, Espinosa gets involved, but Look at the champ. A baseball side drop oh. kick to the ribs. It sends certified all the way up the ramp, almost up here by our broadcast position. You can't win the match on the outside, though, as Kyle Roberts stalks his way up the ramp. It's certified Luke Curtis cuts him off the pass with some punches. Oh, again, out. Slings Kyle Roberts midsection first into the apron. Brandon Espinosa getting back in the face of our heavyweight champion. I mean, again, we talked about the numbers game. It's proving to oh. make a difference. Oh my goodness. Brandon Espinosa threw the punch. It was ducked by certified Luke Curtis, but Kyle Roberts followed up with a shot. That's why I said you have to have eyes in the back of your head when you're facing any of the members of dysfunction. Davis Arena crowd. Letting everybody know who they're cheering for tonight. And oh, I think it helps out. I mean, look at this turnaround here from Luke Curtis. Luke Curtis down with a little momentum rolling on his side. Oh, Takes him up and over the high hip toss, sits out with it. Certified Luke Curtis. Oh, every time he starts to get control of this matchup, is somehow, some way dysfunction by Hooker by Crook is able to try to snatch that back away and look at oh. look at Kyle Roberts toying with our champion. And the thing is, that's just that's it's insulting and it's painful. You know, you've got a guy driving his, his wrist bone, his forearm bone across the bridge of your nose and your eye, Linda. Oh. And you know from your background in jujitsu how you know how painful that can be. Absolutely, you gotta be ready for anything. Oh. To your point of how our OVW heavyweight champion is always ready for any challenge, always ready for anything. Without a doubt, Curtis oh. takes down Kyle Roberts, and I think Kyle Roberts just made the champ mad with those forearms. Oh, and Espinosa again. once again. Oh, with the back of the head. Gets himself involved, yanks Luke Curtis's head and neck into that top turnbuckle. You know, and that would have been over if he had hit that certifier. Well, you know, it's like they say, though, Linda, if a frog had wings, so. Cover, yeah. one count only. Luke Curtis hitting his shoulders off the canvas as quick as humanly possible there. And he understands exactly what it means to be pinned, even in a non-title contest. As a champion, you always want to try to keep your shoulders off that, off that mat. You never want to get too comfortable. Right, I mean, if Luke Curtis was to get pinned tonight, what would that do mentally to our champion? I mean, you know, he's got to defend that title very, very shortly, so. Yeah, he does. Certified Luke Curtis defending that championship in just a few short weeks at Waterfront Park. Hang on. Kyle Roberts. Oh, oh. Certified manages to reverse it. Man. That is the testament of a true champion knowing what to pull out when you need to. He's showing us oh, that in-ring awareness, in-ring intelligence, in-ring strength. When we see that full Nelson slam, certified Luke Curtis likes to go for that diving headbutt. Luke goes up. Oh, now that's 
what separates a champion from many others. Luke Curtis willing to take any risk to, to win the match here. Two. Oh, it, oh come on. Espinosa oh. throws the foot onto the ropes. Again. Brandon Espinosa, the perennial flying the ointment out here tonight for certified Luke Curtis, our OVW heavyweight champion. He is being a pest. Hey, uh, pest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A huge pest right now. Kyle Roberts in the corner. You, you got to think Kyle Roberts was was out. The only thing that saved him was Brandon Espinoza, you know, putting his foot onto the rope. There is no way, in my opinion, that Kyle Roberts is going to be able to kick out of that combination full Nelson slam headbutt. You know, we've seen him win, oh, Luke wait Curtis a win matches before, but hang on, Espinoza. Okay. SB oh. slots a chair in. Oh, Espinoza goes up. What is going on here? I don't wait know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Certified Luke Curtis, double superplex. Espinoza out to the floor, but Roberts up to his feet. Certifier. And that's what makes a heavyweight champion. Here is your winner, the OVW Heavyweight Champion, Certified Luke Curtis. Yo, Linda, you're absolutely right. That is what sets Luke Curtis aside. That's what makes him OVW Heavyweight Champion. He is what the bar is set to. He is the measuring stick here in OVW, and he is certified. We are certifiably in the certified era of OVW. Luke Curtis picking up a win over Kyle Roberts in the main event of Overdrive. And Dysfunction might not have had the most functional night tonight here on Overdrive. That was terrible, but we're going to roll with it. We're going to plow right through it. Not the best night here for Dysfunction, but I feel like they've... What the hell are they I doing? Feel, well, what are they doing I, to us? What I, is this? I, don't, I feel like they're watching, but folks, make sure you watch as Luke Curtis defends that OVW Heavyweight Championship May 2nd at Double Cross, sponsored by Hot Point Appliances. It's at the Louisville Waterfront. It's a free show. All you gotta do is have a Pegasus pin. You get in for free. So folks, make sure you are there. You're gonna be, wanna be there for 150 years, the Kentucky Derby Festival, 30 years of OVW wrestling. It's a double celebration. We wanna see you there. Let's go ahead and get out of here before dysfunction yeah, shows I, up again. I don't, I'm, but, I'm, I'm not. Welcome right, we to the fellowship. Thanks for joining us. Well, welcome. Did we, did we just join dysfunction? I think so. Son of a bitch. What do we do?